Hi, this is Dr. David Benversi with Carbondale Chiropractic Injury Clinic, your Carbondale chiropractor, and I'm here with Blake today, and we're gonna be showing you uh, basically a full spine adjustment, and things that Blake's currently dealing with, we got a little bit of uh, neck pain issues, we have some headaches that are gonna be associated with that upper part of his neck. Uh, we've also been dealing with a little bit of jaw issues, so we're gonna show you what a jaw treatment looks like in the office, and uh, a little bit of lower back stiffness. So literally from his lower back all the way up into his upper back and neck, we're gonna be doing a treatment with him and uh, just letting you know sort of what we do and how that works for us in the office. So Blake, I'll have you laying face down for me. All right, and the first thing normally what I'll do is this table helps to loosen up some of the joints of the spine as well as loosen up the muscles. So um, I'm gonna start down the lower back, just work my way on up here and just apply a little pressure. And again, getting those muscles and those joints to relax is what our main purpose is here. We're not gonna be doing too much as far as the adjusting side of things yet, but um, we'll get there. Now one thing I feel when we get into this upper back for, for Blake is things start to get a little bit stiff and it's probably maybe a little bit sore for him. Is this sore through here at all, Blake? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's an area or an, uh, a spot that I'm gonna try and focus on, make sure that it's moving better by the time that we're done here. So now we got things loosened up here. Next we're gonna be going into some of the assessment. And we're gonna be applying a little bit of pressure on this muscle down on his right side, a little bit of a restriction in his hip. So we're gonna again try and loosen that muscle up and then we're gonna be adjusting things and getting that joint moving better. Okay. And we're gonna lift up here. You okay with that dropping down there, Blake? Yeah. All right. All right, Blake, we're gonna have you on your side facing towards me here, please. All right, and big hug there, good. All right, good job. On your back there, face up. And then we're gonna have you give yourself a big hug, crossing the arms, just like that there. And Okay, deep breath in here for me, and all the way out. Good job. All right, and relaxing the arms there for me, good. Now on Blake, there's a little bit of inflammation right at the base of his head. It's a very upper bone or top bone in his neck. That's a lot of times where we're gonna see the headaches are, are caused from or coming from. So again, we're gonna get that moving better here in just a second. Excellent. Very good. And just stretch them out a little bit. All right, you feel all that on unlock yeah, there? Yeah. Okay. 
And next thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing our assessment for um, his TMJ or his jaw issues. So the biggest thing that I'm looking for when we're doing the assessment for any type of TMJ or jaw issues is how that jaw opens and how it uh, opens con in comparison from one side to the other here. So the first assessment we do is just having him, I'm going to place my hands on both of his TMJ joints and having him open his mouth up nice and slow. Okay. Now in his situation, his right side's a little bit restricted here. So what happens is this left side is actually compensating and, and over um, expanding or opening. So we're going to try and loosen up the muscles on this right side, as well as try and restore a little bit of motion to that joint in that side as well. So we're going to get onto this temporalis muscle, and we're just going to do a little cross friction massage here. This may be a little bit tender. You okay with that pressure there, Blake? Yeah. Okay. Now there's two other muscle groups that we're going to be working on that are more on the inside of his mouth. So I'm going to go grab a glove here real quick and we're going to have him open his mouth up just a little bit here. And again, we're trying to just get those muscles to relax. So when we do uh, try and mobilize that joint that it releases well. So, and then relax him back down. And normally what I'll find here is that there's a muscle right here that's probably a little bit tender. Is that tender there, Blake? Mm -hmm. Yep. And basically it's almost like a trigger point on that muscle and just trying to hold that muscle and get it to relax. You doing okay with that pressure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then open up just a little bit more here, and then I'm just going to apply a little traction down. Okay, good. And then we're going to reassess here before we do anything else. And again, opening up nice and slow there for me. Okay, and back down. I'm going to have you turn your head over to this left side there, and opening up just a little bit here. And what I'm using here is a an impulse device and the reason why I do this versus using my hands is because I can get a little bit more specific and that joint itself the way it sits it's a little bit hard to get any type of a good um, hand contact on that area so normally I'll use this instrument and help to loosen that joint up there okay all right and face back up for me here and opening up nice and slow again okay now, one of the things, his left side is still opening a little bit more than his right side, but it's improved. Um, a lot of times I don't like to do too much with the, the TMJ or the jaw because it is such a, a, a fragile or a susceptible area that if we do too much, we could potentially irritate things. So we're going to leave things where it's at for right now. Uh, we're going to move on to doing a little bit more work on his lower back here. We'll have you on your side facing towards me here, please. And top leg up there. And again, grabbing that elbow, perfect. Good. Now I'm going to help you sit up here. And we're going to have you put your hands on your hips, thumbs pointing backwards here. A lot of times I will adjust the, the shoulder and the shoulder girdle because a lot of times if we're having any type of upper back or neck issues, all those trap muscles as well as these stabilizing muscles in the, the lower part or the middle part of the shoulder blade area all come out to the shoulder. So I like to try and address all that with this as well. Okay, go ahead and push back here hard and quick. Good. And push back there. Excellent. Good. And relax in here. Okay. And relax there. All right. And last thing we're going to do to finish up Blake's treatment today is we're going to put a little bit of gel and also some supportive tape on this upper back and neck area. And we're going to go from there. Now the particular brand that we use in the office is called Rock Sauce and we also use their Rock Tape. So they uh, work really well together. And this Rock Sauce, I like to explain to people, sort of like Icy Hot on steroids. Uh, it has a lot more of the active ingredients that give that sort of that heating cooling sensation. And it also helps to prep the skin so that when you put the tape on there, normally this tape's going to stand for about three to five days and give those muscles in that area some extra support 
as well as help to reduce some of the inflammation in that area as well. Take your chin towards your chest for me, please. up there so uh, that's what a typical treatment looks like in our office again with Blake he did have multiple symptoms basically ranging from his upper back and neck down to his lower back so we did treat the entire spine as well as the jaw there so uh, again my name is Dr. David Benversi if you're having any back pain neck pain or headaches uh, give our office a call for our Carbondale Chiropractic Injury Clinic